The queen? Yeah. What type of queen? Because you have a Q-U-E-E-N queen, do you have a Q-U-E-A-N queen? Which one is a woman? No idea. I mean, as a spelling, I'm, as an action, is different from spelling. But the spelling determines the action as well. Yeah. Right? right? What about you? What does? I don't know. I'm gonna go with mother. Mother. Okay. So queen, mother, right? Yeah. So for that woman to be a queen, how does a queen get her title? By her action. But how? With being with a king, good, good. <laughs> Showing you that you must be royal, one. Yeah. Then you have to be married to royalty. So yeah. a queen is the wife of a king. That's right. Right? right. I was taught, I, I come from royalty. That's what I was taught. Good, but we're gonna go to which family of royalty? Bring it out. Because the people that are claiming to be royal actually took y'all place. Right. Put y'all on the bottom. Right. That's what we're trying to show. What's your name, sis? Who? Jamiria. Mary and Jamiria. Nice to meet y'all. Keep on. All right, come, come forward. Cause this is a personal conversation. I gotta go. I, it's I, hey, we me. all gotta go. But yeah. a lot of us don't put a lot of time into God. All yeah. God requires is a little time to change your life. Yeah. Because isn't it true? One action can change the outcome of your future. So this little time that you're spending is gonna change your future. So I asked, what does woman mean? You said mother, you said queen. What if a, a woman is not married to a king? Then what is she? Is she still a queen? Okay. If the woman doesn't have a child, is she still a mother? She's not. So what does woman mean? The word itself, like what is it? What, what does it mean? Because now they have the question of, what is a woman now? I, I, I would have never thought in my life we would get to this point. Yeah. To the point where they're actually Xing y'all out. Yeah. You know that, right? right. Yeah. They don't like women. Yeah. You know that, right? Let's see what women means. Give me Genesis chapter 1, verse 21. Break it out. Everything is in the Bible. The Bible has not been taught to us properly. This book contains everything that we need in our society to be self sufficient. And God's order is a theocracy, meaning everything comes from God, which is in this book, and then it's passed down to the leaders and then to the population. Yeah. We are not taught this because we're taught to be individualized. That's our biggest flaw. Now, let's see what woman means. I'm sorry, uh, 221. I'm sorry. Read that. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 21. And the Lord God calls a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof mm -hmm. and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman okay so the the woman comes from the rib of a man right he read it and brought her unto the man read mm -hmm. and Adam said this is now bone of my bones. Why did he call her bone of my bone? Because she's from him. I want you to keep that in mind. Read. And flesh of my flesh. Read. She shall be called woman. Why? Because she was taken out of man. So the word woman means that you're taken out of man. To call yourself a woman means that you must be a help me to a man. <laughs> Y'all follow men whether you like it or not. Right. That's right. And the man that most of our sisters follow not. is not of the Bible. Right. You know the right. man that they follow? His yeah. name is Esau. Right. AKA the white man. That's right. That's right. They follow his fashion trends. They follow his holidays. Right. They follow his science. That's right. So this is how I know this book belongs to us. Yeah. Because it is degraded in the land that we were taken captive in. Right, right. A lot of our people question, where where does that information come from? Why are you reading the Bible? They always question the Bible, but they never question sources that they read on Google. Right, they yeah. never question sources that they read on Facebook and Twitter. Right. But we always question the Bible saying it's written by a white man. If the Bible was written by a white man, why is the white man now trying to question what a woman is? And God already said what a woman is. That's it's right. out of man. Right. So, 
for you to be out of man it is impossible for you to be independent it is impossible because you know what you're doing you're fighting your own nature when you say I'm an independent woman you're saying I'm independently out of a man that is that is an oxymoron within itself so y'all follow men but you're following the wrong one the fashion trends that's why officer was going into us our sisters dressing like Horish, or uh, Horish attire. Horish attire goes into the type of dresses that you wear. Like for instance, City Trend, right? Do they sell dresses for our sisters? Not predominantly. <laughs> Be real with me, Mary. Not, predom not predominantly. Yay or nay? No. No? Well, what about you, Jamirius? I did I say your name right? Jamiria. Jamiria. Okay. <laughs> Jamiria. Okay. All praise. Okay. I'm learning. So, do they sell dresses for y'all? Uh, ain't talking about no freakum dresses. They don't. So, what type of man will you attract if you have Porsche attire on? Will it be a godly man, or will it be a nigga? A nigga. Yeah. And, and, and white men can be niggas too. Yes. So, read. Go back to Proverbs seven again, just to show y'all. Actually, start at six, verse uh, twenty-three. After this, I gotta go. Okay. But this is what we need in our community. Yeah. Because if I don't know about you, Mary, I don't know about you, Jamari. I'm tired of seeing my people struggle. Right. I'm tired of seeing my people kill themselves and live a suicidal lifestyle because they know that the situation that they're in is evil, but they themselves don't even know how to get out. Right. Then when somebody try to tell them how to get out, they question that, that motive. Right. But right. all we have to do is follow God's word because God belongs to us right. only. That's right. right. That's what the Bible says, New and Old Testament. Right. That's right. God is our God. Even right. the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Right. The 12 tribes of Israel, God only belongs to us. That's right. Right. No other man, woman, Asian, uh, African, uh, so-called Caucasian, they cannot say that they know God because God only knows us. Chapter 6 and verse 23. Uh -huh. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light, uh -huh. and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So God's commandments is our light in this dark world. The darkness that we have in our community is sin. Sin is the transgression of God's law. But with sin, it causes disorder in our community. Is our community orderly? Be real with me. Are we orderly? No. What about y'all brothers? Are we orderly as a people in our community? We not. So if we can all, if four individuals can see the reality that we live in and say that it's out of order, how are we going to put that order back into our community? We, we can't talk it and don't be about it. I'm tired of hypocrites. That's your right. Your Jesse Jacksons, your Al Sharpness. Right. We are done with them. That's right. We are going to be those leaders. That's, That's right. right. Because those old men, they're finished now. They, they haven't applied God's law nor applied it to their community. Now they're just waiting on death. Right. 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 But jump down to verse 25. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 25. On, Lust not after her beauty uh -huh. in thine heart. So, brother, you see this? We as men are not supposed to lust after our sisters in our heart, meaning our mind. Read. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. Mary, or Jamiria, why is it in the beauty industry, why is it that y'all buy those big eyelids? The little, they be looking like butterflies. Why y'all buy those? You on the phone? All right, what I'm about not you, Jamiria? You never wore no extensions? I have. I okay, why though? Why, why do you wear those things? This is what he brings up. No, no, like, being real. Because it clearly says for the man not to lust after a woman in his heart, meaning his mind. And then it says that she will take you with her eyelids. So why is it that y'all, 
beautify your eyelids. It's another part of beauty. It's another part of beauty, but what is that point of beauty? To attract the man. Let's right. just be real. Right. Beauty is meant to attract a man. Right. You ain't trying to attract a woman, I hope not. So you, the beauty that you wear in the world is to attract a man. Read. For by means of a horish woman, by means of a who? A horish woman, Read. a man is brought to a piece of bread. So hoes make men into simps. That's what right that out. scripture just said. A piece of bread means Bring nothing. Right. So a man, a simple man, is one that lusts after sisters because of their beauty. But they are going to destroy that man. That's, That's what right. that scripture is saying. Do are we taught this? No. And and then we have a whole chapter where a sister is giving her son game on women. Right. How evil they can be in their beauty. But you read it. And the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. So the adulteress. So with that said, a lot of our brother a lot of our sisters dress according to the fashions of the so-called white man. Right. Like my sister Jamiri, she probably don't know. But the red hair actually comes from Tim Gad, Africa. That was back in the Greekish time frame. You know what they what red head uh what they did? They was whores at that time. It sparked fire into men to see a woman in red hair. So they beautified it and they made it on their horse to wear red hair. I know she don't know that. I know that. But these are the simple truths that we gotta understand that yes, even in the beauty, we're not even taught the beauty of the Bible. We're taught the beauty of this world. That's right. And the beauty of the Bible trumps the beauty of this world. That's right. right. Keep reading. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? No, he can't. Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? No, he can't. So he that goeth in his neighbor's wife, whosoever touches her shall not be innocent so is that going on today in our community is there a lot of sleeping around meaning that there's no honor in marriages anymore meaning that if the woman is spiteful she'll sleep on sleep with somebody else if the man is spite against the wife he'll sleep with somebody else does that happen in our community rampantly it does what about you sis it does what about you these are the things that we got to change in our community it right. starts with us as individuals first. Right. You can't call yourself a king or queen if you ain't living like one. Right. You can't. You can say you come from royalty, but you act like a peasant. I'm not going to claim you as royalty. We, we just got to be real with ourselves. Live in the reality that we live in. We right. are in slavery. Why? Because of the sins of our forefathers. That's right. Give me that in Leviticus 26, verse yeah. 40. These are the things that we're not taught in church. And it's meant not to be taught in church. Because if you understood that you are the nation that this entire book is about, right. of course, if I was your enemy, I ain't gonna teach you that. Bring it out. I'm gonna teach you everything but that. Right. Because that's gonna empower you to become that powerful nation once again. Right. Read. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 40. Bring it out. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers uh -huh. with their trespass, Read. which they trespassed against me. So we as individuals have to confess the sins or the transgressions of breaking God's law, not for ourselves, but for our forefathers as well. Because they was ignorantly, uh, they, didn't, they didn't know. Read. And that also they have walked contrary unto me. Read. And that I also have walked contrary unto them Read. and have brought them into the land of their enemies. This is how God walked contrary to us. You see this? Have you? Come up, come up. Because like I said, we are out here for our brothers and sisters to empower you to who you are and what you must follow. This earth, if y'all didn't know, it is coming to an end. That's right. Right. So all this clubbing, freaking, drinking, 
making all this money. It ain't gonna mean nothing pretty soon. That's right. It is gonna get nuclear real quick. That's right. So, right here, this is an example of how God walks contrary unto us. Right. Because I will ask you a question. My sister in front of me and my brother. Why, if it wasn't God, why do we go through this if, if uh, Christ died on the cross for our sins? If we're living under grace, why do we go through slavery? What about you, sis? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good, good then. Good. My question is, Christ, uh, apparently, we're taught that Christ died for everybody, right? If Christ died for every, everybody, why do we go through this? I thought we was under grace. Why did this atrocity happen to our people? You don't know? Good. What about you? You don't know? Good. All right. So, this shows you this is the punishments of God. This is the punishment of not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. You know. That's right. And let's finish that, that statement out. Read. Yeah, go ahead. Or Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. It's going to happen. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That we as a nation are, is not going to listen to God's words, which is his commandments. Like that. <laughs> We're just going to walk away. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Observation means study. As a people, we do not study the Bible. We don't. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Are curses a good thing or a bad thing? Bad? What about you, bro? Are curses a good thing or a bad thing? Nah. Bad? What about you? Bad? All right, so we have a consensus. Everybody here says that curses are a bad thing. 100% correct. What bad things happen now? Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Why are we cursed? Because we did not apply God's law. So each curse that applies to us is because we're not applying God's law in that merit. Meaning, how are we cursed in the city? We live, hey, we live in the hood every day. I, I know I live in a low, uh, uh, low income area. So how are we cursed every day? Aim it out, hey! This is this is your this is your season. <laughs> Whatever is ailing you, hey, learn it out. What about you, sis? How we curse as a people? What, what about what about the murder rate? That's in all of us are cursed. The entire Bible. Is it all true? No. Has it been messed with? No. Not all. No. Right. So it's, it's like, uh, if you just said, look, look, if you just said you was cursed, I'm, I'm right? cur a prophet comments that was cursed. We all are under the curses. That's, That's right. right. The only difference between me and you is I understand and I know God's law versus you. That's right. it. I know when to apply it. You don't. That's why we're out here to show you when and how to apply. Because a curse, how are we curse in the city? In Birmingham, Birmingham is actually number three or four now. Right. Of the murder rate? Right. What what law are we breaking? Thou shall not kill. Bring it so out. So we're cursed in the merit of murder. That's right. In this city. What else happens in this city? Prostitution, right? That's right. Doesn't God say thou shall not covet? So even in the simple commandments, we're not following it. So why do we question it if we understand that we're in transgression of that commandment? You see, you see what I'm saying? So it, it makes no sense. If you want to say that this book has been changed, what has been changed in this book? Because of, according to what we just read, that happened to my people. That's right. And that's no, happened no. to me now. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.
Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.